For the next 31 days on the FCPA Compliance Report, we're going to be bringing you a daily tip, strategy, or idea that you can use to improve your program. Here's your host, Tom Fox, the Compliance Evangelist. Envisioning your compliance training program. How can you begin to think through a best practices compliance training program? I put that question to Sean Rogers, Senior Director, Global Training and Awareness at Walmart. Rogers advised that if you envision what your training would look like as a first step. A common mistake is jumping right to the question if of which courses you want and how to deploy them. However, there are several things you need to think about before you start building the program. You should develop some principles on what your compliance training will look like. A key way to start is by reference to the training and communication sections of the 2020 update, which Stated prosecutors should assess the steps taken by a company to ensure that policies and procedures have been integrated into the organization, including through periodic training and certification for all directors, officers, relevant personnel, and where appropriate agents and business partners. What are some of the guiding principles of your compliance training? What are you trying to communicate? It's a broad set of values you want to communicate to every employee about what your organization stands for. As noted in the 2020 update, a company should examine whether the compliance program is being disseminated to and understood by employees in practice in order to determine whether the compliance program is truly effective. You need to establish program design objectives. Are there different types of training for gatekeepers and high-risk employees or others? This is suggested by the 2020 update. You should consider developing a style guide or course standards. What will the look and feel of your training be? What non-English language will the training be available in? How will the training be deployed? How will it be aimed at baby boomers or Gen Zers and everyone in between? Here the 2020 update stated that the form of training has been offered in a form and language appropriate for its audience. You need to determine the exact risks that will be addressed by the training program. Here the 2020 guidance suggests under content has the training address lessons from prior compliance incidents. It is also noted that some companies, for instance, give employees practical advice or case studies. Set up a governance process to ensure stakeholder alignment, approve the program design, approve the budget, and the monetary effectiveness. Obviously, management buy-in for compliance training is critical, but have you thought about how your training will impact the business unit folks? What about the generational issue? Will your compliance training look like it was designed by old guys and not be appealing or even relevant to your current workforce? Finally, how will you monitor your training program effectiveness as this is a critical element from the 2020 update? Rogers has developed what he calls his three principles of a highly effective training program. As he worked to create a training program at a former employer, the team came up with three fundamental principles which guided their efforts for the compliance training program. Trust, respect, and accountability. These three principles guided many of the decisions made as they developed the program. We relied on these principles and selected vendors based on it. Number one, trust. The compliance department trusted the employees to take their compliance training seriously. This has been, this was previously created by a fundamental commitment to the company's code of conduct after a series of violations. The compliance function trusted that once they have received proper training, they will conduct and make decisions with integrity and in strict compliance with applicable laws, regulations, and the company policies. Rogers cautioned that a compliance training program can inadvertently send a message that we don't trust you to do the right thing, so you have to be careful about that. This led him to conclude that if you do not implement your training program strategically, your learners will view ethics and compliance training as a miserable task they're only doing to satisfy the lawyers. The third and final principle is accountability. As Rogers believes that no training program will be effective without accountability. Accountability applies to learners, (coughs) leaders, and vendors. Accountability includes your organization's employees will be held accountable for taking their training seriously within the established time frame. They will also be accountable for internalizing the training content and enacting with integrity and in compliance with the principles taught in the training program. Middle management also has a role in accountability as they will be held accountable for ensuring their staff has completed 
the trading within the established deadlines. Finally, accountability extends to other stakeholders, such as complaining tri- compliance training vendors, which should be held accountable for delivering quality content and according to development deadlines established by the program. So what are the three key takeaways? Number one, the 2020 update to the evaluation of corporate compliance programs has become the measuring stick for your compliance training program. As Number two, you should create a set of principles for your compliance training program. And number three, you should use these principles of your compliance training program as you make your decisions going forward. This allows you not only to document your compliance training, but it also gives you a touchstone that you can always refer back to as well. Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I'd like to thank you again for joining me for this episode of 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program around business ventures. And I hope you will join me for our next episode tomorrow. This podcast series on 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com.